this team here, Memphis, has already kicked on sides twice this year, all early in a ball game. So I believe what Artie said is true. Watch out for Memphis today on the special teams. Certainly Tennessee is aware of the Memphis track record of trick plays and Rick share their coach said he pull out all the stops today. Short kickoff bounce to the 11 and Price slips down to the 14 yard line. Tried to make a move to get away from Jaron Sutton and slipped down Peyton Manning. The leader of this Tennessee offense now in his junior year completing 66 percent of his passes this year. And is thrown for more than 2,200 yards. Chester Ford and Jay Graham open in the backfield behind him. And it looks like Manning is changing the first play from scrimmage. It's a handoff to Graham. He gets to the 15 for a yard, and that's all. Wrapped up by Marvin Thomas, the right defensive end, number 98. One of the best players on the Memphis team. For Tennessee on offense. Another handoff to Graham. And he's back to the 15, and that's all. Taken down by Tony Williams. Number 53, the left tackle. An inspired Memphis secondary against the bigger Tennessee receivers. Graham Malone back. Behind Manning. He throws over the middle. Well short of a first down to the 19. And that's all for Marcus Nash. He was gang tackled. And the inspired Tigers forced Tennessee to three plays in front of the first series. Hey, nice job there, huh? First two plays, they run the ball just like we anticipated. Memphis stuffs them. Tennessee goes to their four wide receiver offense. And Memphis countered with a dime package on defense. So quite a chess match so far. Larry Binion, the senior punter, will kick it away to Chancey Carr. Carr took it at his own 46, and Memphis opens in great field position at the 45-yard line. Jeremy Scruggs, the fullback, to feel O'Reilly, the tailback, opening the eye. Anderson going deep early. Contact along the near sideline, but no flags down. The intended receiver was Richie Floyd to right. No score just underway. After the play action fake, Scruggs dropped it in the flat. He was open at the 40. And he is ordinarily a sure-handed receiver. Had five catches last week against Louisville, but dropped that one. For Tennessee up front, dealing with a loss of a great player in Leonard Little, Jeff Coleman, Bill Duff, Ron Green, and Jonathan Brown, the front four. The linebackers are Al Wilson, Tyrone Hines, and Nick Jester. And in the secondary, Austin and Fair. The corners, Parker and Noel, the safeties. Third down and ten for Memphis. No score in the opening moments. Anderson throws again, has his man, Carr, short of the first down, tackled immediately by Terry Fair. Ted Lane. A 55-yard attempt, it would be the longest in Memphis history. And he didn't get it there. His career long. Now they've shortened the field for Peyton Manning, who doesn't need that kind of help. Eric Lane into the game now. Movement from Marcus Nash, but he has reset. Graham across the 40, rushing the football, a problem all season long for Tennessee. They come into the game averaging just a football. They lost some key linemen after last season. And this line has not blocked for the run as well as last year's did. Pass on target, but short of the first down. Fearless Price driven. Three wide receivers, Graham Malone back. Tennessee converting a nearly 40% for the year. Here they come. On third down, the pass dropped. Intended for Joey Kemp. He was well covered by Mike McKenzie, who might have gotten a piece of the football to knock it away. Mike McKenzie is their best cover cornerback. Did a great job there. Blitz coverage, man-to-man, -man, no help. 
key third down play right there for Memphis. On two consecutive possessions to open the football game, Tennessee has gone three plays in punt. Binion's first punt went 35 yards. This a much better kick. Chancey Carr oh. taking a chance at the two-yard line. That's not a good chance. That's horrible. No score in the football game. Tigers begin at their own 12. Riley powers out to the 16, perhaps the 17. Tradition of today's defense is you take defensive backs and move them to linebacker for their speed. And it's Scruggs in front of Riley in the eye. Audrey Anderson trying to set up a screen. It appeared, and he throws it away. Under pressure from Oakland, California, in his second year here at Memphis, after two in junior college in California. On third down, Anderson buried back at the five-yard line. Tyrone Hines, the blitzing linebacker, got him for a loss of 10. Looks like a jailbreak here. Get a good look up front. Hines from the right side of the screen comes through untouched. Number 47 and up top is Coleman. No place at all for Kadri Anderson to go. Now we're in a difficult position on your own five-yard line. Hunting deep out of your end zone, you're going to give Peyton Manning the best field position of the day. Drew Paramore is the punter. Heading away to one of the best return men in the country, Terry Fair. Averaging 22 yards per return. Low, wobbly kick, taken at the 41. And as the quarter progresses, the field... He's a walk-on, and he's hoping to earn the scholarship. Sean Bryson in at tailback now for Tennessee. Great opening field position. Manning, play action fake, and it's incomplete. The receiver had pulled up Joey Kent along the... Front. No score nearly midway through the first quarter. Bryson in the long back now behind Manning. Four wide receivers. And Bryson up the middle, tripped up as he crossed the 30. You've got to step up four wide receiver offense. Still have not had a first down picked up by either team in this game. First quarter dominated by defense. Manning with all day throws. There is the first first down to Joey Kent. With his catch. 50th catch of the season. Keith Spam made the tackle. Four wide receiver offense. Their inside receiver, Kent, from the left of your screen, is going to come inside, makes the move on the linebacker, and he takes the hit from Span and holds on to the football. Their inside slots are their key to their four wide receiver offense. Number 11 is Joey Kent. He gets right past the linebacker, no problem, Marcus Gary, and does a good job protecting the football from the hit from Span. First down of the Memphis 17. Bryson with a big hole. And he's down to the 11-yard line. Big upset today on a home field in college football. Memphis trying to make it two. Bryson, a sophomore from Franklin, North Carolina. And these are his ways. Third down, a short two. At the nine-yard line. No score with six minutes left in the first quarter. Bryson inside the five. First and goal. Volunteers season. And as we mentioned, all of them in the opening game coming into this one. Full house backfield. Ford Lane and Bryson. Bryson up and over and into the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. <laughs> Jeff Hall adds the extra point. And Tennessee leads. Chris Hogue kicks off. Kevin Cobb from the 10. He got smacked at the 24-yard line. Ran into Dwayne Goodrich. And he had it in the right field position. Credit Fulmer, credit Manning. Option. Anderson in trouble and taken down for a loss. Back at the 19-yard line by Eric Westmoreland. All playing this afternoon in his hometown. He's a native of Memphis, played at Melrose High School here in the city. Riley, tackled by Tory Noel. They're long, obviously, as they are now. Third down and nine. Three wide receivers into the game. Damian Dodson has joined the starters. Anderson's throw nearly intercepted. 
by Raymond Austin. Tony, a fourth game for Tennessee in the backfield with Eric Lane. Graham trying to cut it upfield, and he could not. Again, it was Marvin Thomas. Today. And there's a chance for the all time sack record at Memphis. Graham looked like he was losing the handle of the football as he went up the middle, tackled by. NG Schuler on the football field now for Tennessee at wide receiver wearing number 81. Manning on 39 has a man open first down Jermaine Copeland. Almost went the distance was tackled from behind to the 36 yard line a third backup wide receiver and quarterback. If Manning leads at the end of the season he'd likely be the leading candidate to be the starting quarterback next year. Jesse Allen made the tackle on Jay Graham. We check in again with Pat O'Brien. On to a minute 33 left in the first quarter. And reverse. The ball given to Copeland. He wants to throw it and slips down back at the 36 yard line. Around for the volunteers, number six, well, we've seen his practice and the footing appear to be excellent. We've seen several players slip here this afternoon. We haven't had any rain here in Memphis since Thursday. Manning on third and long over the middle. Joey Kent first down and much more. Joey Kent inside the 15 and down to the 13 yard line. Leading receiver in Tennessee history in receptions and yardage adding to his total. Watch the inside receiver right here. He's just going to beat coverage right over the middle. If there's anything Manning likes, it's the slant pattern. Look at him. He's telling everybody I'm changing the signal. I'm seeing something and we got our inside slot wide open. Underneath, he beats Spawn coming up span, excuse me, from the secondary. Big play by Joey Kent, and I think Manning does that as well as anybody in the country. He understands the coverage, and he delivers it on time. And with that completion, Manning has just become the all-time Tennessee leader in passing yardage. He's thrown for 74 yards, flagged down. Steve Landis is the referee today. It is an SEC officiating crew. About as you might have expected, or went about as you might have expected, but Tennessee dominating 100 yards of total offense to two for the Tigers. First and 19, the ball back at the 22 yard line. Expecting blitz. As a result, Manning moved Graham up to protect, and the pass is incomplete, intended for Benji Schuler. Has six defensive backs in the game. Manning moves up under center. A lot of stemming by that Memphis defense. Manning under pressure and popped back at the 34-yard line by Marquise Bowling. Bowling number 91 wearing the cast on his left hand. He broke that hand in practice this Tuesday. Great coverage in the secondary. And when Manning turns around, Bowling's right there to meet him. That is a huge play because now it takes Tennessee and pushes them back into field goal territory at about a 50-yard attempt. So that was a big play and a bigger one coming up right here. Second sack of the season for Bowling. Sophomore from Memphis. This dime package is causing Manning a little bit of problems. Only a three-man rush over the middle and nearly intercepted. It was knocked down by Jesse Allen. Manning on the phone with David Cutcliffe, the offensive coordinator. Larry Binion trying to hang a high. He punted that almost all the way back to Knoxville. I mean, that's, that's one of the worst points I've ever seen. Wow. Offense. That has not played well, and they have a new quarterback. Bernard Oden replaces Padre Anderson. And Oden's first pass is caught by Chancey Carr. He's banged up by Torrey Noel. Let's get an update on the condition of Carr. told us yesterday he would play a couple of series. We just didn't expect it this quickly. 
Burst of speed for Andre Woods. The shot Bailey, the backup fullback, is also in the game. Bailey for 34. Gordon keeps. And has a first down. The first first down of the football game for the Memphis Tigers. As Odin carried out to the 33. Tennessee leads 7-0. Two minutes played in the second quarter. Rashad Bailey carrying for just the second time this season. Tackled by Bill Duff. So plays wide receiver. Copeland for Tennessee. Odin for Memphis. Odin with time. Throws it incomplete. Nearly intercepted by Jason Parker. But at the 35 of Memphis. Blitz. And the swing pass incomplete. Intended for Andre Woods. Sends the punt team on. Third punt for Paramore. Haven't seen any trickery yet on special teams for Memphis. Made by Terry Fair at the 35. Father of Tennessee quarterback Peyton Manning. Brian Darden now in the game. And he gets the handoff and gets driven back by Tony Williams, the man they call T-Bone in the middle of that defensive front. <laughs> and he wants to make sure everybody in TV lands. Peyton Manning, 24-3 in his career as the starting quarterback at UT. And he's going deep. And this defense for Memphis is really confusing Manning in the Tennessee offense. It sure is. And you know what? The corner, Mike McKenzie's done a great Eighth year on the Tennessee staff. Had some pretty good quarterbacks in his time. Draw for Darden, and he's dumped for another loss by Tony Williams. In Tennessee, Larry Pinion. Running for the fourth time, and that's a surprise. They're early in the second quarter, 11 minutes remaining. Tennessee has cut it four times. Chancey Carr lost the football out of bounds. At the 26th, Anderson quickly reinserted by Rip Shearer. Deep drop, he's under pressure, and the pass is caught. A nice diving catch made by the tight end, Chris Powers. Out of the one of the fine spots to get him into the football game and get the ball in his hands because he's so explosive. Third and two. Woods, the first down. Out to the 38-yard line, Jason Parker, the free safety, made the tackle. To move the chains, first down. Tigers at their own 38, trailing 7-0. Option pitch. pitch. And Woods goes out of bounds, pushed out by Reed. A couple of second teamers rising the backfield behind Anderson. He's scrambling away from Hines. And he took a shot in the head from Torrey Noel. And it really isn't full speed yet. His left shoulder, non-throwing shoulder. He's trying to reduce the wear and tear on him by having him run less. He's in trouble and sacked back at the 36-yard line. Second sack for Tennessee. With six, Leonard Little, lost for the year with a knee injury, led the team with eight and a half. Fair catches Paramore's point on the run. There goes out of bounds at the... Yeah, okay, he's running out of bounds, no problem. Jay Graham, the tailback. Eric Lane in the game at fullback now. Manning, quick pop over the middle, caught by Dustin Moore, and the big tight end rumbles out near midfield, tackled by Mike McKay. The guy with a great upside. Handoff goes to Eric Lane, and the senior from East Orange. Second and four, Tennessee leads 7-0, midway through the second quarter. Graham appears to be about a yard short of the first down. At the 42, in normal personnel defensively. Third and one. And again, Manning appears to be changing the play. Graham, not sure if he got there. Looks to be short from our vantage point. Well, good to be careful here. Fourth and one on the plus side. Larry Stinian does punt, and again, it is into the end zone. So that's twice. And the starting backfield of Jeremy Scruggs 
And to feel O'Reilly back into the game for Memphis. Scruggs the fullback through a big hole. He put his head down and came very close to a first down, about a half yard shy. High school here in Memphis, Christian Brothers. He takes the handoff and has the first down. Again, it was Noel who made the stop. First quarter, so they've only picked up three. Riley. Knocked down by Hines. <laughs> Memphis averages only two. Scruggs. The lone back, three wide receivers. On second and eight. Anderson. Back near the line of scrimmage, and that's all. Chased out. Now. Memphis two of seven. They have eight yards to pick up this time. Anderson had trouble with the snap and then went down to a knee as he caught it. Back most of his background as an offensive coach. He's been an assistant virtually every Division I program in the country. He has a former head coach, Sparky Woods, who was at South Carolina and Appalachian State as his offensive coordinator. Look out. Fair. Some great moves in traffic. And he brought it all the way back to the 39-yard line of Memphis. Chester Ford back in at fullback. Jay Graham, the tailback. Play action quick. Manning over the middle. First down. Anthony Reddick made the tackle and Marcus Nash. Tennessee leads 7 0. We approach three minutes left in the first half. Great job. Intercepted by Kate Spann. Spann has only Manning to beat. Keith Spann tripped up by Manning and marked out at the one-yard line. Great hustle by Peyton Manning to prevent the touchdown. And Spann just kind of laid in the weeds, did a great job on the weak side of that, anticipated the play the entire time. We've seen this a couple of times now. Three-step drop. Look at Span flash across from his free safety position. Anticipated the slant the whole way. And at this point, he's got a couple of blockers. Watch Manning turn his shoulder, turn his head, turn his shoulder. Does a great job, cat and mouse. And with as bad as this Memphis offense.